Shalom family. Uh, hopefully everyone is doing wonderful today. I want to get into the lesson. And the name of the lesson is going to be called Usury. Slavery by Usury. Slavery by Usury. And what made me think about this lesson was uh, dealing with my own state of affairs, you know, with a, with a, uh, a loan for a vehicle or a loan for a mortgage and things of that, like that. And it really made me understand the, the condition that I was in, you know, and, and how the Most High gave us in our records, you know, what was going to happen to us as a people. And not only that, you know, he also gave us a, 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 an outlet. You know, he gave us remedy. But we don't see it because, again, we, we don't really take the record serious. We don't really take our record serious. You know, so uh, I'm going to get into this lesson. Hopefully, you brothers and sisters can uh, understand it and, and uh, accept it. You know, with that being said, let me get up, let me start off by giving all glory and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to Son Yahweh Shai. I'd also send out a special uh, greeting to the brothers and sisters that's trying to push this truth out there, trying to wake up the very elect. Okay, family. About about two years ago, uh, my wife and I we had got a vehicle. It was about twenty-four thousand dollars. We put about two grand on the vehicle. Can't remember the interest rate, but uh, you know that should have brought the vehicle down to like twenty-two thousand dollars. You know we had, you know we paid about four fifty a month, and in every year that's about fifty-four hundred dollars. And within within five years, that's twenty-seven thousand dollars. You know, so we wound up paying about five thousand dollars extra for the vehicle, you know, in interest. So anyway, I, like I said, I can't remember the interest rate, but uh, you guys do the math that, 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 that really want to know how to, you know, go into that much detail. But, uh, you know, anyway, let's get into this lesson. Let's get into this lesson. Let's go to Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse 43. Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. And thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And that's where we at right now. You know, we have to go to banks and credit unions and different things to borrow money to get a vehicle, to get a a, a, a house or furniture, what have you, even credit cards. You know, we don't we don't control that. The other nations control that. You know, mainly uh, the so-called white man. You know, but my thing is this, you know, the Father gave us in the records where we should, uh, you know, how we, once we gather ourselves together, we can begin to have our own community and, and flourish. You know, like we had, you know, Black Wall Street and, and Rosewood, you know, and the adversary destroyed that. They didn't like that thing, you know. you know but you see around out there, there's little Chinatown and, and little Italy and, and these other little uh, 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 nations, uh, nationalities have their own communities like that. And, and they work with any community, within their community. And if they decide to work outside of that, you know, they they do. They have the power to do that, you know, because they're working together, you know. So anyway, so let's go to Deuteronomy uh, 15. Let's go to Deuteronomy 15. We'll start off at verse 1. At the end of seven years, thou shalt make a release. And this is the manner of release. Every creditor that, that lends out until his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his brother, of his neighbor, or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. Of a foreigner thou, shall, thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother, thy hand shall release it. And that's what the nations are doing to us. The nations are doing to us that they are exacting it upon us, but they're not doing it to their brothers. They're not doing it to their family. They're not doing it to their nationalities. If you notice, it, it, it's supposed to be released at the end of seven years. You find it kind of odd, like when when you people that may have filed bankruptcy, you know, they'll wipe away this here, you know, uh, bankruptcy within seven years. They're getting it out of our records. Everything they're getting out of our records, right? They're getting this stuff out of our records. So let's go back to Deuteronomy, uh, I mean, still in Deuteronomy, let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy 23, and we're going to start off at verse 19. Deuteronomy 23, verse 19. Thou shalt not lend money upon usury to thy brother. Usury of money, usury of victuals, uh, usury of anything that is, thine, uh, that is lent upon usury. Uh, 
unto a stranger thou mayest lend upon usury, but unto thy brother thou shalt not lend upon usury, that the Lord thy God may bless thee in all thy has set thy hand on in the land, whether thou goest to possess it. So with the strangers, so that's why the strangers do it to us, because it's permitted in the Bible. It's permitted to, it's permitted in the Bible, you know, but we're not understanding if we gather ourselves together, we can build our own communities and stuff like that, where we, where we, where we can control commerce. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm probably going to show y'all something. I'm probably going to do a part two of this and go maybe a little deeper in detail, and I'll show y'all guys uh, what this, what this white, so-called white gentleman said dealing with commerce or dealing with so-called money dealing with our people. But anyway, let's go to let's go to, to the Black Law Dictionary. We're going to go get usury in the Black Law Dictionary. Usury. Collectively, the law of jurisdicting, jurisdiction regulating the charge of interest rates. A usurist loan is one whose interest rate are determined to be in excess. So that what a usury is, his, his, his interest rate is in excess or those permitted by the usury law. Any, oh, excuse me, an illegal contract of a loan or forbearance of money, goods or things in action by which Illegal interest is reserved or agreed to be reserved or taken. So that's a usury, right? So again, so there's laws in even in this so-called government uh, to 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 protect against usury, right? So again, so let's go to uh, let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs 22. Let's go to Proverbs 22. And seven. Proverbs 22 and verse 7. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower, borrower is ser a servant to the lender. So, you know, that's what we have. We have become servants to the lender. Now, what have you, what have you borrowed? That's, that's a whole other lesson. I'll get into that <laughs> at another time. I'll get into that to another time. But anyway, uh, let's go to Leviticus. Let's go to Leviticus. Uh, let's go to Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25, and we're going to start off at verse 37. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victuals upon increase. Okay? So we're not supposed to do that to each other. You know, but like the Lord said, you know, like Yahweh said, we can do it to the other nations, but we can't do it to each other. But you notice, you know, the nations do it to us, you know. So we're getting mad, but if we understood what the Most High laid forward in our records for us, we can easily fix this. We can easily fix this, you know. But again, you know, brothers and sisters are going to kick against this. They're going to argue. They're going to debate. You know, but anyway, let's go to let's go to Exodus 22. Let's go to Exodus 22, and we're gonna get start off at verse uh, 25. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him an usury, as an usury. Neither shall thy lay upon him usury. So we're not again. We're not supposed to do that to each other. You know, it's forbidden for us to do that to each other, you know. But again, you know, we have to understand that the Father gave us remedy in our records. He gave us remedy in our records, you know. Um, let's go to, let's go to, uh, let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel 18. Let's go to Ezekiel 18. Ezekiel 18, and we're going to start off at verse, um, start off at verse 8. He that hath not given forth upon usury, neither hath taken, taken any increase, that has withdrawn his hand from iniquity. So, he that have not used usury, he have withdrawn his hand from iniquity. So he's not committing iniquity, he's not committing a sin, Right? 
he execute true judgment between man and man, hath walked in my statutes, and hath kept my judgment, and dealt truly, he is just. He is sure he he shall surely live, <clears throat> says the Lord God. So this is this is one thing that the, the Father put for us as a nation. We we shouldn't be using usury on each other, right? Let's jump down to um, let's jump down to verse twelve. Hath oppressed the poor or needy, hath spoiled by violence, hath not restored thy pledge, and hath lifted up his eyes to an idol, hath committed an abomination, hath given forth upon usury, and hath taken increase. Shall then he <clears throat> shall he then live? He shall not live. He hath done all this abomination, and shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. So again, <clears throat> the Father gave us, he gave us remedy for within ourselves first, but we have to come together collectively and realize that we are being oppressed by the same system. If, but once we, once we begin to uh, build up us as a people, then we can, we can become a, a, a nation and becoming a nation, we can be we get we can begin to deal with the other nations, and use use the tactics that the Father allowed us by law, you know. But we have to begin. We have to. It starts with us first. So again, I hope you brothers and sisters got it because again, you know, once I looked at my own situation dealing with uh, my mortgage and dealing with. Uh, loan for a vehicle, it really, it really hit home. It really set home with me. So again, brothers and sisters, look at your condition, look at your situation, and hopefully this here will uh, help you out and, and motivate you to, to, to learn about it and, and, and begin to do things about it. With that being said, peace, love. Shalom.